Okay, Lady Ada, we are now in the next part of the, the tour for production, and we're here with Noah Hello. and Vance. Hello. Hey. All right, so uh, what's next on the list? Okay, so we did that line. Remember we did that um, the stenciler and the picking places of the oven, but those are only good for surface mount components. So we have another lovely machine that we use for through hole components, and that's called the Selective Solder Machine. No, Are you the selective expert. solder machine? No. I am. I'm not the machine. I'd like to think I am. Yeah. This is the machine. Okay. Um, it's the KISS 102 selective solder machine, and it has two pumps. I don't know if you can see that, but there's two pumps here that can shoot up. We're only using one pump at, the time, at right now, but um, we shoot molten solder, molten tin, pure tin solder up through these nozzles, and it hits the underside of this board where are these? We're making the Ethernet feather wings right now. So see those connectors? Those are not surface mount, they're through hole connectors. And so if you make a product that uses through hole connectors, there is a, a secondary process you have to go through, which adds cost, which is why you want to avoid it. But in this case, Ethernet connectors, they really only come in through hole. So molten yeah. solder is kind of like Terminator 2. It's kind of like T-1000 a little yeah. bit, yeah. Um, very small one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very tiny T-1000, equally as erratic. Uh, so yeah, uh, the whole the whole thing over here is all about trying to just control uh, control the purity of our of our nitrogen, which helps us protect the solder joints, uh, makes them less porous, and gives us less workflow for vents later on. Yes, okay. that's very helpful because usually when the, there's a problem, they would solder and they would join these two joints together. So I would have to manually, painstakingly, have to separate them so we get an easy, even flow. Okay, and this is the screen over here. This is the screen so over what, here. What's going the on process over here? Screen. Uh, basically, this is, right now I'm in the process control tab and I'm ready to put another board in. Can I have, I can totally do that. I have my pump on right now. I like to keep it hot so that the nozzle doesn't cool off and I can just move on to uh, subsequent boards. So okay. I'll put this board in. You have to bank it off of this stop right here. So Okay, now Where you can go. see the board. I can oh, see and, the board. And this is what this tells you you're registered. This, right, this, this is my registration, yeah. I, 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 I set this as the uh, board's fiducial mark okay. for this process. And it gives me a confidence reading down here telling me, okay, this is roughly, you know, how well I think I can do this right here. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to adjust it just ever so slightly because I saw that my DRO was reading plus four thousandths in the Y direction. I'm going to reset my fiducial, recheck it. I'm all zeroed out now, which means, and my confidence is much higher. 96. 96. I feel 96% confidence. Yeah. I feel, that's a great level of confidence. So okay. now I'm, I've lifted my nozzle up here. Now we were down for a little bit, so it's a li it's it's cooled off considerably. So what I have to do now is I have to take a titanium probe. It's just a piece of titanium wire, but it's titanium because titanium floats in wire. Uh, sorry, floats in solder and deflects heat better. So I can actually hold on to this and just stick it down into the nozzle. And be careful, I don't want anything to shoot up. So you cleaned out the I've nozzle. cleaned out the nozzle, and now I'm just going to dress the tip of the nozzle. This is just the brush with a little bit of this flux, Superior 75 flux, dipped onto the uh, onto the bristles, and I'm just going to very lightly coat the top of the nozzle, clicking it a little bit on the top, just all around. You want to have 360 degrees of coverage. And this is just going to ensure that my wave is nice and stable when I run the run the entire board. But we were down for a bit, so actually the pot is still having to, there's probably some uh, contaminants, some very minor contaminants that are down in that nozzle right now. So That's we fine. have to wait for it to heat up. Once it's uh, all nice and hot, we can run our board. Let's yeah, this is an excellent tour. Uh, if we're around when the board's running again, uh, we'll record it. Yeah. Come this on will, back. This will be this will be part three. All right. Well, yeah, thank, you, no? yeah. thank you, Noah. Thank you, Thank you. Selective right. solder is interesting because you know people are like, oh, through hole parts are so much less expensive than surface mount parts, especially for connectors. But there's this extra labor, so it's something to keep in mind when you're doing your make okay. or the manufacture. Let's go over to here. And so these are some of them that are finished. 
These are not finished. These are have yet to go in, actually. Yeah, yeah. This is we just assemble all of them first. We just basically stick, in this case, this uh, giant Ethernet jack into this port. So we're all ready to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks, folks. Yes.